The Huko is a household registration system in China which acts as a tool of governance for the Beijing government and it allows them to control the citizens in a certain way that they can decide where the citizen can live, work and own a piece of property. And this system has allowed the government to uh, control citizens all across. The Huko system was introduced in 1950 right after the foundation of the PRC and the idea was to allow the central government and the Chinese Communist Party to control the lives of the citizens by making sure that they can, um, they can control the labor movements and they have a full control on any kind of uh, labor protest that might break out. And directly tied to the Huko system is the Danwei system. Danwei is a, another interesting system which ties an individual to a work unit. And this work unit or a factory is where the person identifies uh, themselves with and that's where they live. Together, the Huko and the Danwei system were the basis for social control in China. But now the party has realized that they cannot use the same old system to control citizens as they would need to move around to find new opportunities. And therefore, the cities in China are now looking to address this loophole. But now several cities across China, including Shanghai, Fuzhou and Wuhan, have decided to change the system where they'll allow outsiders to apply for a huko within their territory. This was not possible because there were restrictions on who can actually go to a new city and work in that city, including Shanghai. So now the city of Shanghai has decided that anybody who graduates from a top 50 university can now come to Shanghai and apply for a huko. They don't have to wait for, um, wait to get the points required to apply for the Shanghai huko. And that is actually a big prestige topic in China where if you have a Shanghai huko, your children can go to the best schools, your children can get the best education as well as uh, end up in the best jobs because Shanghai and some of the nearby areas have the best tech companies and the most highest paying jobs. But then why are the cities making the change? Uh, the main reason that we can gauge through the articles that have been published by state media is that the economy is now not growing at the same pace and therefore the cities are looking for ways to revive their economy and therefore they've decided that the young individuals from other regions of China can now travel to Shanghai and go live there without any restrictions and that's the reason behind why the Huko system is now being amended and this advice has actually come down from the very top where NDRC, that's the major development agency in China, has asked the cities to remove these barriers so that people can move across the provinces and access jobs. And the Beijing government knows that they can no longer rely on the kind of foreign talent that they have relied on for the longest time.